Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So we have, uh, let's start this our Docker engine. So I am starting this Docker engine. So in our previous video, we have successfully learned about the installation of the virtual machine and also the installation of this Ubuntu server. Now it's time for us to install the Docker server in our Ubuntu server. So how we can install the Docker engine in our Ubuntu server? Let's try to see it. So if you go to our, uh, uh, what I want to say it is uh, in our Chrome and here you can search for the Docker engine install in Ubuntu. Okay, in Ubuntu, on Ubuntu, anything. So if you try to click on this one. So here the first option, you'll be able to see the install Docker engine on Ubuntu. So let's try to open this one. And here you will be able to see a series of the installation steps, how we can do it. So to get started with the U Docker engine and Ubuntu, make sure you meet the prerequisites, then follow the installation steps. So what are those prerequisites is the OS requirements is you need to have Ubuntu Noble to 24.04 or 23, 22 or 20. So right now we are having 24.04. So there is no problem. And uninstall the older versions. So if you are having already Docker installed in your system, so Ubuntu server or anywhere. So first we need to uninstall the older versions. How can we know that the it has been a, it, it is there means so the docker.io, docker to compose. So these all the types of files will be available. So we need to uninstall this one for in, uninstallation. So they have given the command. So here you need to use sudo apt hyphen get remove dollar package. So these are all the for loop. They are lo looping over the for loop and the package in docker io, docker doc, these all things and they are removing this one all. So that's it. So and also we need to check that whether where slash lib slash docker is available or not. If it is available means then we need to automatically remove. So this uh, aren't automatically removed. So we need to remove this one. So by this automatically the docker will be uninstalled in your system. So then here the installation. So there are different ways how we can install the docker engine. So you can install the docker engine in different ways depending on your needs. So Docker, Docker engine comes bundled with the Docker desktop. So the Docker desktop we have already uh, seen about this one. It's an enterprise edition. So I already told you that for Linux also Docker desktop is available right now. So this is the easiest and quickest way to get started. But we are learning about the community edition Docker engine. So we will install it manually. Set up and install the Docker engine from Docker's APT repository. So this is through the package manager we will be installing. So right now we will be installing it like this only or install it manually and manage the upgrades manually or using a convenience script. So these are the different ways how you can install the Docker engine in your OS. So right now I will be installing the Docker engine through the package manager, which is the common usage which we will be doing. So if you want to go with the Docker desktop for Linux, means this is the easiest way and you can continue with this one. So let's try to install this one one by one. Before that, let's try to on our Ubuntu server. So here this is the Ubuntu server and uh, Docker login is test user and test one two three four right so now we have successfully logged into this one so now what is the step first we need to do it is so if you try to see here so the first command what we need to do it is so this is the command we need to copy so let's try to copy this one so i have copied this one okay and i will try to paste it here so if i try to paste it here so now i am i am not able to paste it here why because by default virtual machine comes with a uh, connects through a NAT gateway. Okay. So what is this NAT gateway is? So I told you, right? So it is connected through a NAT gateway. So in the context of the virtual box, a NAT means network address translation. So gateway is a networking mode that allows your virtual machines to connect to the internet and other networks without having a direct public IP address. So that means here. So now this is our virtual machine, right? So this one, this one will be automatically connected to the internet, but this one is connected to the internet using the NAT gateway or oh, this is the NAT gateway. So this NAT gateway, so it doesn't give you the direct public IP address and it will connect to the internet and other networks also. So the, how it works is this is a private network and inbound restrictions will be there. So that means by default, the NAT gateway doesn't allow unsolicited inbound connections to the VM, making it more secure. So because of this one, so no direct access. So other devices on the internet cannot initiate the connect, uh, connections directly with the virtual machine. So that means whatever the things you are copying from the outside means so you cannot paste it here or you cannot connect it through to the from the external through the NAT gateway. 
how we can overcome this one is through the port forwarding so you need need to configure the port for port forwarding rules on the nat gateway if you want external devices to access specific services running on the virtual machine so that is one thing so how we can do this port forwarding is so let's try to see so normally the ip address connected for this one is ip a if you try to see so normally all the virtual machines the ip address connected will be 10.0.2.15 and it will be connected to the port 22 so this is the common thing which will be connected every virtual machine so if you have installed the ubuntu server in your virtual machine means the ip address will be 10.0.2.15 and it will be connected to the port 22 and what i will try to do is i will try to do the port forwarding so that means so here uh, where we can do this port forwarding is so let's try to go here inside this one and let's open this virtual box and this is our uh, box running right and let's go to the settings and here if you try to see the network and it is connected to the nat gateway okay so we are having so many things but we it is connected to the nat gateway and if you click on the advanced so here you will be able to see the port forwarding now port forwarding means nothing bad so whenever your local system is connected to a particular port so let's say that it is connected to a 22 22 port then it needs to connect to the 22 port so the 22 port is nothing but our virtual machine so that means whenever any user connects to this 22 22 port automatically this um, that will be redir redirected to the virtual machine so that is the route i am trying to take so i am telling to the docker engine or the virtual box that whoever connects to the external uh, the host machine 22 22 port means it should be connected to the 22 port of yours so that means okay and we can give the okay and before doing this one if you try to uh, let's try to remove this one i will try to show you mm, advanced and port forwarding and i will remove this one okay and if i try to connect this one through the external uh, things like putty or anything so if i try to use the putty you can install the putty directly you can install it so you can search for the putty download so putty download for windows so you directly you can download the putty and free ssh and telnet client for windows and this is the putty and i told you right the host name is 10.0.2.15 and the port is 22 automatically and if i try to click on the open so right now i cannot connect it why because from the external device i am connecting to the virtual machine so i cannot able to make a connection why because the, because of the nat gateway so nat gateway doesn't allow you to connect from the external device to the virtual box so now what i need to do is i need to allow the port forwarding so that i will connect to the 22 22 port to the see connection time dot so what i will try to do it is so here in our in this one here let's go to the settings and in this settings um, where is this network available yeah and here in the advanced so i will go to the port forwarding here and in this port forwarding i will click on the plus and here i am telling that whoever connects to my host system for 22 22 it needs to be connected to the virtual machine that is available in the 22 port so that's it now if i click on okay and okay and now let's try to open the putty and this putty is not connected so let's try to click on the putty and here i will be right now right now i i should not use the 10.0 point this one so i need to connect to the local host and this should be connected to the port 22 22 so local host is nothing but our local system so whenever i try to connect to our local host there is nothing but 127.0.0.1 and whenever i connect to this local host to the port 22 22 it will be automatically connected to the virtual machine which is available in the 22 so that is nothing but we have added in the port forwarding settings now the port will be uh, now the port will be forwarded to the 22 now if i click on the open make sure that the ubuntu server is on so this box is on or otherwise it will not connect and now automatically it will, it will be asking as login as so with which user you want to login so i can give the test user test user and the password it will ask test 1234 so this is the password i have kept it and automatically it has been connected so through putty it has been connected so like this you can connect with an external thing now you can able to copy paste or anything whatever you want you can do it and now another way which we can use it the most common thing the people will be connecting is so i will close this one so the most common way how the people will be connecting is the through the command prompt so i will be connecting through the command prompt so run as administrator <coughs> so 
so now i have opened the command prompt so whatever the command prompt it will be it's okay so this is the common command prompt i have opened it so now i through the command prompt through, so through your command prompt which is available in your windows command prompt if you want to connect to your virtual box means so what you can do it is so you can use the ssh client so this will be available in your windows so there is no need to worry and hyphen p p means the which port you need to connect the port is nothing but double two double two and you need to give the username test user at the rate local host that is nothing but the host name and if you press enter it will ask you some ssh fingerprint so you need to type s here yes and automatically it will be uh, it will be asking you for the password so let's type the password test 1234 now through the command prompt you are automatically able to connect to the uh, what i want to say is to your uh, virtual box see now here directly you can use it so this is how you can connect through the external through to your virtual box machine so hope you understood about this one then afterwards what we will try to do is so i will be uh, starting this virtual box server but i will not do the coding from here automatically i will go to the command prompt and i will connect through the so if you try to exit automatically you came back and if you want again you can do the ssh hyphen p automatically you will be connected to the virtual box machine so you can do s here okay so permanently added and here you can say test 1234 so automatically this one will be logged in so this is how you will be doing the port forwarding so you can work on this one so in the next video what we'll try to do is we'll try to install the docker engine in our uh, ubuntu server then afterwards we'll try to work on the docker thing hope you understood about this nat forwarding thing port forwarding if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you